By 1917, stray bullets and lurking enemies have cast away brigades of youth and cut out any chance of an automatic victory on the Western Front. By now, a line of level two trenches, the Hindenburg Line, should extend from the North Sea to the Swiss border, making any Allied mandatory offensive a costly mistake. An important caveat regarding level two trenches, make sure that any combat losses sustained by its occupants can be replaced as a vacated level two trench becomes a free level one trench for the enemy. The escalation to total war implied that its conclusion would be closer to total annihilation than a gentlemanly exchange of provinces. To that end, Central Power's total war strategy should pursue the path of least resistance. Instead of staying huddled in the trenches or ambling madly all over the town, let this be a call to arms in the east. The Russian Empire long had stability issues starting with the 1825 Decemberist Revolt in St. Petersburg. As the peasant revolts intensified, the Tsarist regime kept bearing the seeds while the Decemberists were deported to Siberia, the 1905 protesters were gunned down. In the years leading to the war, Russia had one of the highest economic growth rates in the world. However, most of these gains went to the intelligentsia. On March 8, 1917, this misalignment manifested as 50,000 textile workers in St. Petersburg declared a general strike. As the strikers swelled to 200,000, the Don River Cossacks, who had pledged loyalty to the Tsar, were ordered to disperse the crowd. But Tsar Nicholas II was micromanaging the war, leaving Tsarina Alexandra, a German, to run the domestic government. Apparently the Cossacks did not care much for this conflict of interest. Instead of riding down the strikers, their mounts occupied the lane between the demonstrators and the police. This critical mass initiated the hundredth monkey effect and the remaining military units defected, deposing the Romanov dynasty. Leading their sordid, checkered military wives, the crispy, moderate, liberal replacement did not find a solution in time. Yes, the Russian army retains its impressive defensive capability in spite of the Tsar's fall, but its offensive capability is severely compromised. It may be the perfect crime, but with a surefire backfire as it stinks of disaster. Refrain from playing the Five Ops Bolshevik Revolution and the Four Ops Treaty of brest until close of the last reshuffle. There is no idle hour as the wounded fawn rides into the taiga. Turkey finally gets an army, actually two. By themselves, they are quite fragile, having a combat factor of one and being non-replaceable. Stacked with Turkish corps to increase the combat factor and take losses, they can give even Allenby a run for his money. Despite this, the Near East victory point locations are a long stretch for the Central Powers. Activity there should emphasize distracting the Entente Come the attrition, the reek of bones, the infantry with its arms unbound, Germany receives the final four reinforcement event cards of the game. It goes without saying that the bomb gets played immediately. Ten combat factors can swing the action, even on the Western Front. The main benefit of playing the two core reinforcement cards is deck management. Ideally wait until Zimmerman and Over There are played before unleashing your war riders. Not only are there two war status points better used when the combined war status is greater than 32, but now the allied player is required to counter with the convoy event before any American reinforcements can be deployed. The high seas fleet should sorte after the allied player plays their grand fleet for ops. Congratulate yourself on running the blockade and grab the victory point. As a four ops card, Lloyd George is better played for ops or replacements. If the Brits want to bum rush fortified machine gun nests, that's their choice. Be mindful of the implications of, of playing what I call the prayer cards. Historically, these were the last cards in the Central Powers' hand in the spring of 1918. The rain falls on the wrong year. The best that you can do is to catch the deluge in a paper cup. Play of Michael and Blucher should be delayed until the last reshuffle. Peace offensive, given the potential loss of one victory point, is a risky gambit. Next episode, the hunters become the hunted.